Hello, in this video, we are going to solve a problem in determining the maximum shearing stress in a shaft. So this is our problem. A very interesting one. Please pay attention as we do the analysis alongside. So, under normal operating conditions, the electric motor exerts a torque of 2.8 kN on shaft AB. Knowing that each shaft is a solid shaft or is a solid one, determine the maximum shearing stress in shaft A to B, shaft B to C, and shaft C to D. So now this is shaft A, this is shaft to B, this is to C, and this is to D. Are we okay? So with this parameters given, we are to determine the shear stress inside the shaft, inside that, inside that, where we are having a torque produced from this motor to be equal to what? 2.8 kilo newton. Are we okay? So it's an interesting one, very interesting question. First, we have to draw the free body diagram of the shaft. Are you okay? Please pay attention to the question. I'm moving to the next page. If you want to reference anything, you have to come back and look at it because I am moving to the next page. Now, we are going to draw the free body diagram for the shaft and make the analysis. So assuming this is our shaft, the complete shaft, and this is what we are getting. All right, so this is our shaft, and there is a rotation at B this direction which is torque by the B it is given by 1.4 and we also have torque at C it is also given us 0 0.9 and we also have another rotation as torque by what the D which is 0 0.5 they are all in kilonewton meter and we are also having the torque produced by the electric motor the motor is at the point a so i'll call this point a this is point b this is point c this is point one d now in order to balance all this torque are we okay then we are going to say the electric motor is also applying a torque in this direction where we are going to have torque in what? In A to be 2.8 also in kilonewton. All the torques are in kilonewton watts meter. Now we have diameter given from A to B. The diameter of the shaft is given as 56. And B to that, the diameter is also given as what? 48. This is also having a diameter of what? 48. They are all in terms of mm. All diameters are in terms of what? Millimeters. So, very good. We have this. We are to determine shear stress inside each of them. But if we have torque, if we have diameter, if we have shear then we can use this relation that from we have a torque on j is equal to a shear on r this expression will help us to find the shear in each of the shafts are we okay but then how do we find the torque inside from a to b at a we have 2.8 at b we have 1.4 so which one do we choose? How do we analyze the torque? So first, we are going to section the parts. So I'm going to section 
So I'm going to consider one. Let's consider our consideration is going to be on shaft AB. I'm going to break it. Are we okay? So if I break the shaft or section the part into two, this is what I'm going to get. So I'm making a cut through AB. And this point is my A. And I have a rotation here as TA, which is 2.8. I also have a rotation here as what? TB. Why is the TA in the opposite direction? Now I'm, I'm trying to balance all this torque, right? Such that it will be in equilibrium. So TB is 1.4 and the C is also 0 0.9 and this TD is 0 0.5. So A, B, C and D. So inside of this shaft A, B, what can we see? We want to analyze the torque inside. So always, if I'm to draw, I'm going to let this part is part one. This division is part two. At part one, the torque is going to be opposite to the one given this way. And to balance this, this is going to be 2.8, right? And at part B, the torque is also going to oppose the immediate one. So it is going to also look at this direction, right? And in order to balance everything on the shaft part two or this part two, then this torque, if you sum this plus this plus this, is supposed to be also 2.8, right? So looking from the part one, it's supposed to be 2.8 inside shaft AB. Looking from the part two, it's supposed to be 2.8. So meaning inside of shaft AB, the torque is what? 2.8. Are we okay? So we can say that. So I can take it from the first part. So the first part from the part one, therefore, the torque A should be equal to, let me say, TA prime, should be equal to TA prime, which is also 2.8 kilonewton watt meter. Is that right? Yes. So meaning we are going to use that torque inside it to find the shear. So it's very simple. We are going to say that A in shaft AB, we know that our shear is always 16. The torque on what? We have pi E Q. And this is going to be 16 on the torque inside of AB is what? 2.8 kilo, which is, I'm working in what? Newton meter, so in meters. Pi, the D at AB is 56. Since I'm working in meters, that is going to be 0 0.056 what? Cube. And the shear in AB is going to give me what? 81.2 mega pascal are we okay so from here the shear stress in shaft a b from the analysis is what 81.2 mega pascal if you work in millimeters it is going to 81.2 newton per millimeter square now let's look at what is happening in b c so from b to c let's look at what is happening so let me delete so that we can get it very well. So considering now shaft that's BC, shaft BC, this is what we are going to consider. I'm going to section that part and see what is happening over there. So this is going to give me this. This is the first part and this is the second part. So I'm having the torque by the motor, which is 
then I'm having the point B also here as 1.4. Then also I'm having point C here, 0 0.9, and point D as 0 0.5. So inside BC, the torque, this is going to be opposite to the immediate one. So I'll call this part also here, and this part will also be opposite to the immediate one in this direction. Are we okay? All right, so if you consider the part one and part two, each of them is going to help us get the same torque, right? So let me call this as in what BC. So from part one, from part one, we can see that the direction of torque in BC plus 2.8, they are all what, in the same direction. Should be equal to 1.4, right? So we can say TBC is going to be what? You send that, that is going to be negative what? 1.4, right? 1.4. But remember, we don't have a negative torque, meaning the direction is supposed to what change. So meaning torque in BC is 1.4. That's still kilonewton per watt or kilonewton meter. All right. So when we consider the same thing from the part two, it is also going to. So this part is also T in BC. T in BC is the only part looking at this, which should be equal to 0 0.9 in the other direction plus 0 0.5 in the other direction. And this is going to give you what? 1.4. You see that. So meaning the torque inside of BC is 1.4. Do we get it? It's 1.4. So we can now still use the relation that B the shear stress in shaft BC, so this is shaft AB, is still going to be 16T on pi dq. So 16 by our torque that we have, which is 1.4 kilo newton meter divided by pi. What is the diameter at BC? It's 48. So we have to convert it to 0.048 cube and the shear stress in BC is going to give us a shear of 64.5 mega pascal. Are we okay? Now we have to also look at a C to D. What is happening? So now we are going to consider the shafts D or C to D. So if I'm going to draw, this is what I'm going to have. I'm having my shaft and the other part. So the A is here, which is 2.8. I'm also having the B part, which is 1.4. I'm having the C, which is 0 0.9. And the D is here, which is 0 0.5. So meaning between C and D, there is a torque which I will pose it to here, which is TCD. And this one is also opposing here, which is TCD. I'll call this part one and part two. So simple analysis from part two. What do you see? That the direction of TCD is equal to the direction of what? The C, which is 0 0.5. So meaning the torque inside CD is what 0 0.5 kilonewton meter. If we are to do the same analysis for the part one, then we are going to look at the direction TCD plus 2.8 is equal to we have 1.4 plus 0 0.9. Is that okay? So meaning that is going to be TCD equal to 1.4 plus 0 0.9 minus 2.8 and that is going to give us negative 0 0.5 and remember torque is what non-negative supposed to be a positive torque just that it means the direction we are choosing should be reversed so meaning the actual torque here is 0 0.5 kilonewton 
meter. Is that right? Yes. So this is what we have. That inside CD, the top is also giving us what? 0 0.5. So we can also make that analysis that we did for the same thing. So that is going to be shear stress in what? CD, that is going to be 16T. The T, the torque is 0 0.5 kilo. On, we have pi. What is the diameter? That, the diameter here is also 48, which is 0 0.048 cube. And when you punch this on your calculator, the shear stress in CD should also give you 23.0 mega Pascal. So do you see that it's quite simple? You have to make the correct analysis of the torque. If you section it, you are going to balance the torques and you see the amount or the torque acting between that point and you choose it. When you get a negative torque, meaning go and reverse the direction that you chose, but the value, the magnitude is the same for the part one or the part two. It's very simple. You get that. All right. If you don't understand anything, please go back, take your time and watch because the formulas are just constant. We derived them in the previous episode. Thank you for watching this episode. Please subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, like the video. See you in the next episode.